Hey guys, Metal Breakdown here. So today was a really exciting day because I've got to hear the brand new album by Arch Enemy called Will to Power. Um, I can't say right now that it's fucking beast of an album. I can't wait to listen to it already. Uh, I've heard it a few times today, I think three or four times for some songs. Um, really great, can't wait to have the physical copy in my end. Uh, next Friday because this album is a real beast and will land really high in my um, top uh, 20 uh, year-end list uh, pretty sure it will land at least in the top 5 so yeah a really strong album and I'll talk uh, about it in that video I'll do a top 5 and tell everything you need to know about it so let's fucking do this guys for my album review of Will to Power by Arch Enemy. So what about that brand new album by Arch Enemy? Is it better than War Eternal? The answer is that I'm not sure yet because War Eternal is such an amazing album but I'll repeat what uh, one of my friends told to me because I really agree with that. He told me that there is be like bigger song in War Eternal than in Will to Power, like bigger single, a bigger life song. But overall, um, the quality of the songs in Will to Power is probably a bit better than the quality in War Eternal's album. So, yeah, I would tend to say that I prefer. Uh, Will to Power may be a bit better, but I need to have like more lessons to truly judge on that. We'll see in a few weeks, I guess. Maybe if in a few months, uh, because I really need to let the album grow on me and everything. So yeah, with the top 5 from this album, the first song I picked uh, to enter my top 5 is The Eagle Flies Alone, which was the second single from Will to Power. I hesitated a lot between uh, putting The World Is Yours or this song in my top 5, but after really comparing the two songs, I prefer this one slightly. Uh, I love the addition of the clean backing vocals by Alyssa in the pre-chorus part. Uh, there is not the huge melodies like in The World Is Yours, but the main riff is better and I just feel like this song... Um, like it's a song that I will revisit uh, more than uh, The World Is Yours in the future. In terms of solo, it might not be as good as in The World Is Yours, but it's enough for me to um, like be an almost perfect track, so... Yeah, the solo in uh, The World Is Yours are definitely longer and maybe more complex, but... Uh, yeah, the one in uh, The Eagle Flies Along uh, is enough for me. It's pretty fucking good, and yeah, overall, uh, just in terms of solo, The World Is Yours would win, but overall, um, The Eagle Flies Alone is a better track. Slightly, but enough to make the top 5. After that, uh, the fourth song in my top 5, uh, I picked First Day in Hell. Even with only the first listen, I knew this song would land in my top 5. The intro was so good and kind of reminds me of something uh, Metallica would have done in their gold era, like Golden Era, like um, from Kill Em All to um, Black Album. I don't know if I'm the only one who got that vibe, but. <laughs> it's really the first thing I thought um, when I've heard it. Uh, not a copy of Metallica, but maybe some inspiration, but still pretty fucking good. I'm not complaining at all, just um, drawing some comparison. Uh, when the riff finally drops, I completely lost my mind because it sounds so massive. Another reason why I love this song so much is because it probably contains the most aggressive vocals by Alyssa, both from this album, Will to Power, and from War Eternal. Uh, the song name fits perfectly with the vibe of the song because if it, um, it's really like the song is taking you right to hell, so great track, loved it. Um, after that, entering my top five, I, uh, my top three, sorry, I picked the song Dreams of Retribution. The longest song on the album, slightly longer than the last track uh, of Will to Power, that I will uh, talk about later, and of my, uh, my favorite two tracks of the album. Um, 
I absolutely love the keyboard used during the part where Alyssa says plotting my revenge is the only thing keeping me alive. It's so fucking good. I freaked out when I heard it the first time. It just adds so much to the vibe of the song. It's also remind me a bit of the song Time is, ba Time is Black from uh, the album War Eternal, which was my favorite song of War Eternal album. I would love them uh, so much to play either um, Time is Black or Dreams of Retribution uh, when they will come to Montreal uh, in November with Trivium. Can't wait for that show because it will be both my first time seeing Trivium, which is my second favorite band, and Arch Enemy, which is also one of my favorite bands. So I'm really looking for that. Already saw uh, While She Sleeps with uh, Bullet for My Valentine, but will be pretty fucking cool too. And now with the top two, my favorite second song on the album is Reason to Believe. The reason why, yeah, Reason, Pond, ha ha ha, just kidding. Uh, yeah, the reason why this song is landing so high in my top five is because they took a huge risk with uh, this song and it turned out in gold. Uh, we already know Elsa was able to nail clean vocals because of the work she, uh, she did in her previous band, The Agonist. Uh, which is from my uh, from my uh, hometown Montreal. Yeah, Alyssa, uh, you're my fucking girl. I wish, uh, <laughs> but I did not expect that in the new Arch Enemy, uh, it's something it would happen. I know she would do it someday, but not in that album, not in Will to Power. So it was really a fucking great surprise for me to hear Cleans uh, in that track. Um, it should definitely be used more often, maybe not in all song and not uh, that much like in that track, but if uh, Arch Enemy would, dis uh, would decide to like add just some small uh, clean vocals part in the song, I think it, would, it should be a great addition. Uh, she usually ballads uh, in album is like my least favorite song on the album, uh, which is the case in most of the track by my band, my favorite band, Avan Sevenfold. Uh, every time they put a uh, ballad, I'm like, oh, it will probably be my least favorite track on the album. But this time, it's such a good ballad that, yeah, it needs to be like uh, the second best track on the album for me because it was a huge risk. They nailed it, and the song is truly beautiful. One of the best of the Will to Power album. And now, my favorite uh, track of the album, I kind of and had it. Uh, a bit uh, when I was talking about Dreams of Retribution, when I was talking about the length of the track. So yeah, my favorite track on the album is the ending track of Will to Power. Uh, it's called A Fight I Must Ri A Fight I Must Win. Sorry. Um, I was really looking forward to that track because of its line. And if you know me, you will know that ending track is often my favorite uh, track of the album because bands usually take more risk into that one and do everything they wanted to accomplish with that album so yeah often really fucking good so uh, by my favorite uh, two bands like Avenge and for my favorite track is the ending track of Nightmare Save Me fucking great track if you're only a fan of Arch Enemy and you're like oh no Avenge Heavenfold is really not my thing go check out Save Me it's such a good track you will like it for sure and yes, yeah, same for Trivium, Shogun, the last track of the album by the same name is also a fucking masterpiece. Check that out too if you haven't already. Um, yeah, where I was, I was talking yeah about a <laughs> fight I must win. Um, just like in the, in Dreams of Retribution, we have the right to, uh, to an incredible intro, and this one is even better. Then the one in Dreams of, Wit of uh, Retribution, which was already almost perfect. Uh, the riff in that song need to be mentioned because they are all better than the previous one. Uh, this song is brutal in some parts, but not that much in other parts. Uh, with a lot of orchestral elements that are used throughout the song, and it makes it sound just beautiful. The more the song advances, and the and uh, more the younger. <laughs> sorry, the more the song advances, the more the orchestral element uh, take more place, like in the song. And by the end of the song, you have full uh, orchestral part with nothing else, and it's just perfect to me, uh, which makes uh, this song. A full masterpiece because there's not no other word good enough to describe that song masterpiece uh, yeah exactly masterpiece nothing more nothing less 
And this album will reach really high in my uh, top 20 and year of the list. I'm sure about that. Uh, you uh, of uh, Arch Enemy fans, you could even expect a top 3, but we'll see. I'm not promising anything, but it's really that great. Um, before I end this review, I just want to talk a bit about uh, the other song on the, on the album. Both Set Flame to the Night and a Saturnine are really great instrumental part. It was cool, cool addition to the track. And yeah, um, Murder Scene is also another great track that I did not mention but was really good was really good and the first two tracks the race and blood and water are good uh, not in the top three uh, not in the top five neither uh, which is rare because you often have the best song at the really beginning of the album which is not the case in that album but they were not bad neither and yeah my shadow and I was also a really good track but I would probably say it my it's my least favorite track of the album even if it's pretty fun so let me know what you think in the comment section about that uh, brand new album by Arch Enemy. Make sure to pick up a physical uh, version of the album because we need to um, support a physical edition of the album if we want that to keep alive because uh, the industry is dying and I'm doing everything possible to preserve that. Um, I'll do a video showing my collection someday if you want that. And yeah, if you're a fan of Arch Enemy, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I did both reactions for uh, um, The World Is Yours and The Eagle Flies Alone. So yeah, you might want to watch that. I'll put them at the end of this video. So make sure to subscribe, leave a like on that video, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.